So Harper's Bazaar said the big bags are coming back. Stay tuned for my big bag collection. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. Those who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. Those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, what are we going to talk about today? I hope you enjoyed my recent video where I shared my um, evening bag collection um, and I've decided to do something similar for my big bags because I was looking at the Harper's Bazaar Trends for 2022. And one of the trends that they outlined was referred to as supersize me, which is all around practicality being brought back into bags, uh, popular bag styles. And you can probably see that through the conception of new bag styles like the Chanel 22, for example, which is more towards that hobo bag style. So I thought I would share with you my big bag collection. What do I think of them? Which ones do I think are worth your while? And let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. It is a Saturday that I'm filming. As you know from previous videos, I'm giving you an insight into the filming schedule here. You know that I'm currently at home a little bit more um, over the next few days. So I thought I would just churn out some great content that hopefully you'll all enjoy. But as it's a Saturday and I have nowhere to go, I'm also enjoying myself a little bit of rosé wine, which I've mixed with a little bit of fizzy Vimto because I like the sweetness of it. So some of you are probably looking, thinking, oh my word, what are you doing? Well, I enjoy it. So mm. cheers to you. Cheers to us. Cheers to our YouTube family. So what am I classifying as a big bag? I'm going to move this pillow. It's annoying me. What do I classify as a large bag? I'm talking about anything that's got a base of more than 35 centimetres. Because you have some of those medium sized bags, for example, my Longchamp Les Pliages Club Mediums, that are about 30 centimetres. And I don't think those quite fit that super size category. But I am a lover of the big bag, as you know. So I'm going to share mine with you. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's get into it. Number one, let's go for, oh, this is a collection of bags, but I'll just show you the first one that I've got. This is from the brand Osprey London. I've spoken about them before. I would highly recommend. This is my Osprey London shopper beach bag that I have in a range of different colours and sizes. I have yellow, I have blue, I have purple, green, pink, I do have a black one as well that I'm not too sure what that is. I lost that quite a while ago, but that was a great bag. These are amazing. These are amazing beach bags. They're amazing shoppers. I use them for when I go grocery shopping. I just think they are fabulous. Who doesn't love something that's a little bit, you know, bougie when you're out and about, but you can throw it over your shoulder, carry it by its top handle, fits so much in. You could put an organizer in this if you wanted some more structure. These, I think, are about 40 or 45 pounds, but you can often buy them at the outlet, and they're about 20 pounds at the outlet. So, definitely worth considering. I highly recommend, big fan of these. Love those. Next up, and this is a newer bag purchase for me, and I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of this. I am, of course, talking about my Mulberry Bayswater in the Mock Croc in the black leather with the gold hardware. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this. This is a big bag. I think this is about 36 centimeters, something along those lines. It's a big open space, has a couple of pockets. It's a very sophisticated item, but you can fit a significant amount in this. I'm not sure that you can fit a full size laptop, but you could easily fit an iPad or something along those lines if you didn't need to carry a 15 inch laptop, for example. I think my 13 inch laptop would fit into this, actually. Just something to consider, it's a beautiful item. I cannot recommend the Bayswater enough. And this is my second Bayswater, and I'm sure it won't be my last. Beautiful, sophisticated, cannot recommend enough. Great on the pre-loved market as well. So, whilst I'm talking about Bayswaters, let's get into my second one. And this is my Trippy Tiger 
Bayswater, which is in this beautiful denim fabric with the icy blue leather trim. This is gorgeous. This has silver hardware, which we all know is absolutely my favorite hardware. Significant space on the interior. I've used this a lot as a day bag. I've used this in the evenings as well. At the moment, I've just added this beautiful little Kurt Geiger charm to add a little bit of pizzazz, add a scarf to it. So much personality, still a very classic shape, but in a very fun pattern. And I love the fact that it's fabric. Having a denim and a, um, leather version of these bags just gives a little bit of versatility but I'm very familiar and very comfortable with the shape so I know what fits I know how to use them and I've got a really good idea of how to style this type of bag as well top handle isn't for everyone so these don't come with a shoulder strap you could probably add one if you had one of those inserts that had a shoulder strap or the rings that you could attach to it I don't see the need for that I'm very happy with just carrying it as a top handle the leather does get a little bit heavier, I'm sure, um, but I haven't properly used it, so I can't really tell you. I've only used it on in the flat. But this one, when it's full, can get a little bit heavy, but it's very light without having anything in it. So the leather stands to reason it will get a fair amount heavier, but it's a beautiful bag. Cannot recommend enough. My first big bag that sits outside of the travel bags, and this was my daily bag for I'm going on probably a good six months, if not longer. I've used it day in, day out, was very happy with it. And still am very happy with it. And this is my Longchamp Le Pliage in this geometric print. I think this must be from the Le Pliage collection, um, opposed to Le Pliage Neo, original, etc. Um, it has the black leather handles with the detailing silver hardware, and it comes with a shoulder strap. I have no clue where the shoulder strap is. I've said that multiple times. I'm sure I will track it down at some point, but I'm not fussed enough about it. It is just one large open space on the interior, but I do put a organizer in my Longchamp bags because I think it's worth it. As this is an older style, it only has a singular pocket. Newer styles tend to have dual pockets, one on the front, one on the back. This has a singular, and I just have the organizer in it to give it that little bit of structure. I get asked often where I buy my organizers from. I buy them from Amazon. This is also a great bag in this 40 centimeter size that if you were just looking for an overnight bag, for example, you didn't need to necessarily take a change of shoes or anything like that. You just need to take some toiletries, maybe a change of clothes. This could fit absolutely everything that you needed. Big, big fan. Whilst we're doing duplicates, here we go. Another one from the Le Pliage collection. And this was from July, twin, June? 2021 and this I believe was part of their pride collection I got an email about this and I'd ordered it within 20 minutes you couldn't get it on the website you had to order it through the store I had to have it I called up Regent Street and bought it instantly this is one that you know I have a little bit of a funny relationship with because it's a nice bag I like the silver hardware the black leather love the um the rainbow jockey you don't get many bags unless you get them custom made that have the large jockey on the front of them so that is something that's really quite nice i paid 175 pounds for this but i'm not enamored by this kind of gunmetal canvas i wish that the gray was either a little bit lighter or a little bit darker i wish actually it was black if this was a black canvas with that um, rainbow there, I think it would really pop. Or if it was a slightly lighter gray, I think that would really pop as well. That's my thought on it. It's got an organizer inside it, like my, um, like my other Longchamps. This has loads of rubbish inside it, but it's got an organizer inside, the same one, just in a different color. My bag raincoat as well. Every bag needs a good raincoat. Have I recommended it? Yes, I would. I would say it's a seven out of 10. There's just ways that it could be improved for me. And I know that a couple of individuals have bought this off the back of me talking about it. They're absolutely loving it. And that's fantastic. It just didn't spark the joy that I thought it was going to, but nowhere near enough that I would look to get rid of it. It's still a really great bag. I'm still very happy to own it. I just wish that it was a slightly darker canvas. There now I find it easier to style, but it's a beautiful item and yeah, I've got this little scarf tied around it. It's cute. Let me know what you think. Flat bags are often something that you see come in smaller derivatives. However, I have a range of sizes when it comes to my flat bag collection. But the one that started it all really in terms of my love affair was the Kurt Geiger Kensington XXL flap. 
And the first one that I bought, I bought from eBay. I bought this pre-loved and I absolutely love it. It's in this gray leather with the large eagle emblem. It is a big old bag. As you can see, I've got a, a medium Kensington flap inside it, um, which is also containing my Ralph Lauren um, belt bag. So it's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of an open space here. It's got two compartments. The chains run through the center. It's a beautiful item. You can fit so much in this. You could fit an iPad. I think you could fit a smaller laptop. The only thing to be conscious is that it does get very, very heavy and the chains can somewhat dig in. But on the newer versions of this bag, this is an older variant, the newer versions have leather that sits across the center of the straps. That makes it a little bit more comfortable means that it doesn't slip quite so easily, but you can wear it in so many different ways. You can just carry it by the handles, wrap it around like so. You can carry it by the shoulder. You can do it cross body. You can do it long shoulder. So many options with this. I've carried this in a number of different settings. It's been a work bag. It's been a day bag. I've carried it in and out of London with me when I've been on the train. Super practical, super versatile. Cannot get enough of it. Will absolutely buy another double XL flap. Do I feel like I've ticked the box of the slightly more classic? Yes, I do. Will I go for something very bright and bold and bubbly next time? Absolutely, I will. I think I'm thinking maybe a rainbow or a sequin. I'm just waiting for the right one to crop up and then I will go for it. But it's a great bag, cannot recommend enough. Has a bit of a base shaper in the bottom of it as well so it doesn't sag. 38 centimeters, big flat bag, cannot recommend enough. Love it, it's fabulous. And when you can't recommend something enough, of course you should have two of them. So I do. I also have one in the denim. And you can see here um, what I was saying about the straps, where the newer version has the leather that sits in the center of the straps. This has the exact same features. It is constructed in the exact same way. Two compartments with the chains running through the center of the bag. This one is gold hardware, which you know isn't my favorite, but I love the way that the gold contrasts against the denim. I think it's fabulous. Has a slightly different emblem than my other one as well. Um, it's beautiful. It's a great bag. I've used this in London. This is a bit lighter because the denim is lighter than the leather. This is lighter to carry when it's filled. It's not quite so heavy as well. It's a great, great item. It has all of the same features whereby you can uh, cross body it, you can long shoulder it. I just noticed it's got a little bit of a pull there. But you know, that happens when you've got a fabric bag. And this was one that when I went to Selfridges back in May 2021, I was using this. And I went into the Kurt Geiger store and they said, how did you manage to get hold of one of those? They said, we could not get them in the stores. Basically, they, I think they were more prevalent in other countries in Europe than in the UK, because they said they could barely get them. Um, and he said, how did you manage to get one? I said, well, that's what the pre-loved market is for. You can find some of those little gems, can't you? So I also bought this one pre-loved. I will buy new, I bought new Kurt Geiger bags, so I'm not opposed to buying them new, but I do love these past variations, so I'm not going to buy brand new. There's another variation that I absolutely love that I can see on the pre-loved market, and I can get a great deal for it. It's also got the base shaper in the bottom, stops it from sagging, beautiful item, cannot recommend enough. I will be using these for a very long time. So happy with them. They're also, this is also very easy to travel with, because it's fabric, it's quite malleable. You can pack it very, very flat. That means that it could just go in the bottom of a suitcase. Very easy to carry with you. Love it. I think it's fabulous. We are down to our final two. And these are two relatively recent purchases. But I've been using them both non-stop. Now, one that I have grown such an appreciation for over the past few weeks. I was using it when I was in Manchester not so long ago. This is my MCM. Um, logo glitch tote. There is a name for it. Um, cannot remember. I'll insert it. But this is fabulous. This is fabulous. It's got similar functionality to if you're a Chanel Deville fan, for example, because it has the long shoulder straps here. It also has the um, top handles. But what's great about this is that the two pieces are detachable. So you can just unclip that and you can just have this large pouch, almost slightly kind of large Bottega pouch style or the Fendi first, you know, that very large pouch. Um, or you just, and then you have a PVC bag as well, an MCM see-through bag. Or you just clip the whole thing together 
and it's fabulous. I've used this in the rain, I've used this in the sun. It's a fabulous, fabulous piece, fits so much in it. If it gets too heavy to carry by hand, you just throw it on over your shoulder. The straps don't slip, it's got silver hardware, the MCM on the front there. You could also turn it around, it's a little bit more subtle. I think it's so fabulous and wonderful and beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I know that one of you tracked this down and bought one off the back of having seen it. And I'm so glad that you did because this is a fabulous, fabulous bag and it deserves recognition because when I bought this, I was driving home and I thought, oh Nick, what have you done? You know that instant buyer's remorse that we sometimes get? And I had it with this bag. And then I started using it and I have no remorse. I think it is so wonderful. Cannot recommend enough. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. The only way that I could personally improve it, <coughs> excuse me, is I would change the colours of this MCM where I would actually keep these three the same. I would change this to pink and this to bright yellow. Cannot recommend enough. And finally, this is an amazing bag that I cannot recommend enough. I genuinely cannot. I've been using it as my work bag. I've used it as a day bag. It's beautiful. It's not my normal style in terms of the um, colour combination that I bought it in, but I've been loving it. And I am, of course, talking about my Longchamp Rousseau in the large size. Now, this does come in a variation of sizes, and if you're looking for something with a shoulder strap, this is not the one for you. Go for the medium, that comes with a shoulder strap, the large does not. This is a beautiful bag. It has the buckle on the front, which is designed to look like bamboo. It unpoppers at the sides, which gives it even more space. It is a large open space in there. Two pockets on the front, a pocket on the rear, a zip pocket on the rear. It comes with this great um, little tab for your keys so that you don't lose your keys in here. It's beautiful. I love the canvas. I just love the mock croc. It is stunning. It is very sophisticated, but it's fun and it's logoed and it's Longchamp. You know I love Longchamp. So this was an absolutely fantastic piece. It can get heavy. It's not heavy like this but as soon as it's got stuff in it, it can get very heavy, but the straps, they just keep going and going. My least favorite of my big bags, I would probably say, is this one. And the fact that this is a seven out of 10 still, says something about the, about the bag itself. That is, that is a pretty good going, I think. It's just a really small frustration that I have with it, and that, is, and that was on me, you know? That's not any fault of the bag. The bag itself is great. I just wish that it was a slightly darker canvas, but it's still beautiful. So I have a great big bag collection. I'm incredibly happy with it. I know big bags aren't for everyone, but they are coming back into style. So definitely check some of these out. Lots of these are available. Outlet, pre-loved, you can get newer versions. Definitely check them out and have a good think about it. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching. I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.